Hey everybody, Anthony from Hasselsnet here, and today we're gonna talk about the Transformer Weapon Cybertron uh, uh, figures tier list. Uh, we're going to rank the figures from the lowest uh, of F to the highest of S to determine which is the best and which is the worst. Uh, from Core Titan to uh, from Core to Titan, who will win? Before we begin, uh, we would like to thank TF Wiki for the images. If you want to create your own tier list, check out the tier maker URL in this video description and share your tier list with us in the comments. Now, uh, let us begin by introducing panelists and in the order of the screen here. So, Bill, uh, you're first. Go ahead and let people know how they can find you and what your most recent uh, uh, video is so people know to go check you out. Oh, okay. Uh, hello. My name is Ninja Bill, Ninja Bill of Ninja Bill Reviews. Um, you basically find me on Facebook right now on T-Formers as well, the T-Formers.com. Um, I used to do Discord all the time, but my my new I, I, uh, service provider has blocked that site, so I've been able to a access it for almost a year. Um, and that's really basically it. Um, what was the other question? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> well, what, is, what is the most recent video you have right now? Oh, um, I just I think it's it's either uh, it's either a, a Lightning Collection in Space uh, Phantom Ranger or Deluxe Class Starscream from Cyberverse Adventure Bumblebee Cyberverse Adventures. I, one of those two. <laughs> so okay, input. Uh, tell us about uh, your shelf, your channel, and uh, what's the newest thing you got cooking. Well, um, I'm input, obviously, because my name's at the bottom of my little screen. And um, I've got a stop motion channel and a toy review channel where I basically show, you know, review my customs or, you know, do live streams and complain about current Hasbro QC problems and, and just kind of get my thoughts out there on stuff. Uh, as of right now, I've got... Um, a stop motion coming up uh, called Transformers Yellow Jacket. It's a continuation of my stop motion Transformers Deep Cover series, and or it's a sequel series, I should say. And um, that's what I've got in the works right now. Uh, shout out to Ultra Marcus, who plays one of the best Rodimus Primes ever, uh, period, hands down. And that's that's pretty much what I got going on. Okay, Lazy, uh, introduce yourself, your channel, and I think you just released a Unicron video. I Well, sort of. Hello, I'm the Lazy Eyebrow. Um, you may know me from the Lazy Eyebrow, uh, commonly for the Lazy Eyebrow. And I just released a video on the ring upgrade for the Unicron Soto and Studio Cell, which you may have uh, caught this morning or this afternoon or whatever your time zone is. Maybe you caught it yesterday and you're just waking up in Australia. Howdy. <laughs> I actually been able to watch that, and I kept forgetting. I just watched it. Um, I You're love not a bigger. Fan. <laughs> well, I, I did I too. I was surprised at how much I liked it. Yeah. Okay, so uh, how can people find you, Lazy? I assume at well, Lazy you Eyebrow you on at... YouTube, and then there's probably like social. You can media, find right? me at Lazy Eyebrow, and well, there's a uh, Lazy Eyebrow Twitter, and there's a Lazy Eyebrow Facebook, and, and very soon there's going to be LazyEyebrow.com. So that's pretty exciting. Ooh, fancy. Ooh. Okay, TFA, tell us uh, where people can find you and what you have cooking. Ba weep, grog, now weep, ninny bong, my TF addicts. It's TFA1024, the TF addict here. You can find me here on YouTube, obviously. Otherwise, I wouldn't even be on this platform. Uh, you can also find me on Instagram. That's Instagram.com slash TFA1024, the TF addict. And I also just started a brand new page because Instagram decided to ban me for some stupid bull crap uh, for live streams, at least. Uh, it's going to be TF underscore or the underscore TF addict on Instagram. That's going to be a collection and Transformers news page. So feel free to check me out there. And as far as the most latest video that I'm currently working on, uh, it was going to be the HQ. So here's a little sneak peek of the TFA HQ for right now. Anyway, I still have a lot to do. Whoa. So headquartery. <laughs> um, I'm currently diverting all my uh excuse me for the squeaky door i'm currently diverting all my mental and emotional energy into a passion project of mine called transformers divided mind which is a very heavy dark gritty and uh emotional mental health story about the character punch counterpunch which is essentially me in a sense 
So you guys can stay tuned for that coming out, hopefully within the next few months. Okay. So before we get into the tiers, I just want, there's so much new stuff that came out this week. Uh, starting with Bill, uh, tell me the one thing out of all of the, the Wreckers, RC, the, 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 the uh, masterpieces, what one item got your attention this week and, and the new reveals? Um, none of them, to be honest. Um, n none of them. Uh, the RC, kind of, because it's the thrilling 31, but... but uh, uh, I, I oh, yeah. to be quite honest with the king with the legacy line. I have really only wanted four figures. I've already picked up three of them, and that's it. I, 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 it's just some figures like Prime RC skipped it because I have two iterations of her from the R Prime line, so skipped it. I've skipped a lot of them because I only wanted Bulkhead, Skids, and Laser Prime, and I've got them, and I kind of want the want rc the rest of them i just don't care for especially every look everybody who's picking up the uh stunt cons bravo hope you enjoy them menasaur was never my i literally own no not one single menasaur stunt con in my entire collection and i've been collecting since 1984 for sure. all i hear is building yeah. transformers i don't know what's going on here <laughs> Input. Uh, which which reveal this week uh, got your panties in a in a twist? Well, um, I, there's two of them actually, and uh, I had to I had to wash them after I saw them. Um, we had a uh, <laughs> wrecker Leadfoot. I don't care about the mastodon. That's a whatever. But wrecker Leadfoot. Uh, let's go, man. That's what's up. He as Leadfoot. As a kid, that was always my go-to Transformer to play with. Just always. And then um, me being the Toyota junkie that I am, I'm super excited for Trailbreaker because yes, they, they I, I got... About him. Yes. They, they got... Man, they got the license for Toyota. He's a Hilux surf. Let's yes. go. That's yes. it, man. I, I, I'd forgotten about that. I'd forgotten about that. Yeah. Yes. Everyone's hands all of a sudden changes. Yes. <laughs> he likes well, must have said it for nothing really. Oh, trail breaker? Heck yeah. I totally forgotten about that. And then once input said trail breaker, I was like, oh shit, the masterpiece trail breaker. And oh, I'm part of my language. I'm sorry. Very sorry. Uh, um, lazy. Uh, what uh, what appeal to you this week? Uh, trail breaker. Now that input has reminded me of it. <laughs> no, honestly, like everything was like, eh, yeah, I've either got it or I just don't care about the records personally. And everything else is like, eh. <laughs> I'm, I'm glad for everyone else is happy about it. That's kind of where my opinion, like, like Ninja said, a lot of legacy is kind of like, it's all right. Like, it doesn't hit as hard for me as it did Earthrise, which is why I'm here for this episode. Okay. Uh, TFA, uh, what tickled your fancy this week? Oh, man, where to begin? Because um, I'm a sucker for anything new or an old design reimagined and modernized for a modern day and age. Um, I mean, all the records I really enjoyed, but like some of them are just kind of lackluster, mainly the top spin or twin twist. I always screw them up. Um, I get them backwards, too. Backing away from the traditional old Generation 1 stuff, which no offense to energy wonders. Studio Series number 90, Galvatron. I need that. It looks so good. Okay. So um, the rules are simple for this. We will go around and each panelist will get to rank a figure. Uh, to assist the panelists, viewers may state their rankings in the comments. There are over 50 figures in this series, uh, so everyone will have an opportunity to rank quite a few. By no means is this list of figures complete, and some redundancies have been removed. In consideration for time, each panelist will have three objectives. If there is an objection, I keep saying objecti uh, objectives. If uh, They have three objections. If there is an objection, we will rank the figure in the middle. So I'm going to show you the tier chart. And uh, here we go. So uh, this is what we're doing, S to F. And then here are the figures. And we're going to go in order, starting with Bill. Pick a figure. How would you rank it? Again, everybody who's watching, feel free to put your rankings into the comments. No. 
I was going to ask this question before we start. Are we going? Go ahead. Are, are we starting by class or just? You could do whatever you want. Okay. Well, I you think the list. You pick I, a figure and you just go wild. I think if I want to start with the best figure from Earthrise, in my it's completely subjective. I understand that, but Skylinks, number one, Skylinks. Okay, so. I, so how would you rank it in S, A, B, C? Is Skylink even on here? I could have S, it. S, S is, is, the, is the end all be all. He'd be an S. I was like, oh, my God, I can't find him. Ah. I think you forgot him. <gasps> oh, my. H and Kenny, did you Skylink. forget the commander class? Oh, I see. You know, that's funny. Um, that oh. is, You're right. He's not on there, is he? Oh, that's sad. <laughs> the question is, do I have him? Wow. Oh, wow. Yeah. That, I feel bad a great for start. it. Is, that was perfect. I was about to ask no the space shuttle at the bottom is Skylink, but no, it's not. No, that's the the yeah, thingy, and that's the not other on thing. there. Oh, that's sad. Okay, I well, blame Bill. The honorary picture. Well, <laughs> I think somebody but, says somebody says look next to Blue Streak. Blue uh, Streak. That's not Skylink's. Hold on, I can fix this. I bought the, the builder. Uh, I oh, this is <laughs> the uh, Cyan Koopa. The uh, the arc yeah, no, no, he's right. It is okay in the middle on the on the right is oh, Skylinks okay. yeah, in yeah, five yeah. different modes. Oh, there he is. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah, there he is. Okay, I can. Okay, so, Bill, what are we saying? A through F or S through F? Uh, F being. Thank you, event F progenitor. Thank you. So, yeah. So, where would you S put being it? the best? Right. Yes. Yes. Then the S. S right oh, there. thank you, thank you, Event Progenitor and Nicholas uh, Kavanaugh. Kavanaugh. Um, yeah, Kavanaugh. Hi, he, uh, by the way, hello everyone reviews. in the chat. Hello everyone in chat. Thank you for joining us. By the way, in case we didn't mention it, thank you all for joining us. Really appreciate it. Make sure you hit that like button on your way in, because you know we all kind of not always remember to hit it on the way out. So thank you very much for joining us this evening. And yes, <laughs> I would start out with Skylinks. Because I thought that was probably, in my opinion, the best overall figure in the line. It it did everything I wanted a Skylinks figure to do. Plus, it had that awesome added base mode. The original didn't have that, and it worked so well. I liked it. He felt chunky. Uh, you know, yes, there were problems with the wings, um, the wing stability issues, but... You know, and stability in his, you know, vulture mode or whatever you want to call it. But uh, um, overall, I think he was probably, in my opinion, the best figure in the entire line. Okay. Uh, okay, so an input, which one would you like to pick? All right. I'm going to get the elephant out of the room right now. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to chain it and drag it out <laughs> with Trailbreaker. Okay, four-wheel drive mode. And I'm gonna pick RC. <laughs> RC, really? Where are we go, RC? That, this is not gonna, going where I expected it to. <laughs> I'm yeah. gonna, I'm gonna throw RC at an A. <laughs> wow! You're um, just gonna make me waste my objection, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're just begging you someone you to waste their front. objection. Dude, I'm right there with you. I want to say it so bad, but it's like, hmm. Input wants to reserve Can the three of us combine to say objection and it not count to any of our things and say, you know, we're going to override input and say F? So you're saying you want a super objection? <laughs> yeah, we want a free. No, I want to use a third of my objection and get everyone else on board with me to say F. <laughs> Forget that. Add a freebie objection. Everyone gets one. <laughs> then we all agree that yes, for the super objection. That's how we, we, we just say we get a freebie objection. I just, I just, I just want to call out input for trolling. <laughs> <laughs> He's trying to save all the. I'm not wasting my objection on this. I know it's no, a troll. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, okay. Go ahead. I am, I am, and I say this, I'm not trolling. I know I, All right. people, people in chat are thinking, holy crap, what's wrong with this guy? But I genuinely do enjoy Earthrise RC, and I think she is a good figure. I really do. Not trolling, not being And I'm sarcastic. using my objection. Okay. And I, I exercise my right to use my objection. It's an F. You can take that to the bank, sir. 
it now becomes a C Genuinely because we're picking right. the middle. I'm not trying well, to come across as like malicious. Or anything. I can live with this. <laughs> I'm curious. I'm no. genuinely just curious. You can say that she's an A even with that transformation, as much yes. as a headache as it is. Yes, that's because a good robot. It, I'll give you that much. It's a good robot. It's just the can, the transformation process is like what makes me want to throw that thing against a wall. Well, what really what really sells <laughs> it to me? If I, well, hold on. What really sells it to me is the backpack is optional. You know, because normally you would get a car and that thing would be back heavy and fall over and it would never stand up and it would never work properly. But here it's an option. So at the very least, you can have something standing on your shelf that looks really good and you don't have this giant, you know, masterpiece RC style backpack hanging off of a deluxe class figure. That's fact. That OK, so so object. OK, now to completely objectively speaking. I have to agree with input. Look, it, it it is a shell former, absolutely, but it is a shell yep. former where you can remove a large part of that just entirely from the figure, and you'll be, you know, mostly okay. The Thrilling Thirty actually had more of a backpack than the Earthrise did once you remove that remove that section. So, um, so in many ways, it did lack a bit of color. Uh, a bit more paint, but uh, again, this is objective as I can be with the Earthrise figure because I own it. I picked it up. I liked it a lot. And actually, no, I didn't pick it up. It got sent to me. Uh, um, <laughs> <laughs> okay, Bill, so good. Um, I didn't even buy it. To explain Lazy my is like though, I have, Yeah, I have <laughs> seen better transformations in kids' costumes. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen the kid that has a Starscream costume? That makes way more sense in a structural sense than this RC toy. I don't like this thing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, because we can't like do this for every figure, uh, let's yeah, try okay. to keep the on. chatter. Like, we've wasted four minutes on this one figure. It's warranted, ahead, mind right. you. Yeah. It's warranted. It's warranted. TFA, what's your like figure? Like I said, elephant in the room is going now. <laughs> Getting it out. That's of there. fair. <laughs> that is very fair. Uh, okay, I'm TFA. Be, uh, the Amazon Criminal uh, Dominus Two Pack from the Galactic Odyssey collection. And how are we ranking them? I thoroughly enjoyed the sheer idea that Punch Counter Punch has finally gotten a modernized figure. Granted, it is a Titans Return uh, figure, just redone for this specific. Uh, release i do like the colors and thanks to lazy i actually learned a couple new thing about the deco for it i had no idea it was based off of uh headmasters mm -hmm. you said where are we going um i'm not gonna put it super up there i'm gonna say it's probably about a b because it also gave us a a, a generation one in uh, inspired barricade so i'll definitely put it right up there in b okay lazy uh cliff jumper s tier I don't hear any objections. I, I I like the mold. They just done it so much. Just everything that's a little car is this. Mold. I know they, they they reuse the heck out of it, but like it, it's the first one. I love it. It's like I didn't expect to like it, and then I got it in hand, and man, I was sold a million times over. I agree. I can definitely agree with that. The punch counter okay. punch colors, by the way, are, are night beat. Just in case anyone's wondering. Oh, that's why it looks familiar. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it yeah. was Nightbeat as well. I could have sworn you also mentioned in your review it was also based off of the two different incarnations of him from the actual G1 cartoon, and then also Headmaster. Well, it's got those. It's got those hints, but like the it, it's the Nightbeat color scheme is what happened in the Dominus Pursuit pack. Right. Okay. So back up to Bill. Uh, what are we going for now? Oop. Uh, MicroMasters, all of them, not the Battle Masters. Just micromasters, way one, way two, way three. Just, just micromaster. I, 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 look. Okay, so when they originally micromasters originally came out, I was hooked on them. So pick a battle master picture, any one of them, and just stick them, stick them up. In <laughs> we know what Ninja's doing for three turns in a row. <laughs> <laughs> just stick them up there in A, because the look, other battle masters we haven't picked yet. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Because I, I just. I love the fact that they Hasbro brought back the Micromasters. Battlemasters are okay, but it's the Micromasters that I was just wowed by. 
I mean, here we have, like, I, you know, here we have these these micromasters coming back after all these years, you know, and then they even like Ironworks. Technically, they called him what Iron Sides or something like that, and then they gave Ironworks his own deluxe figure. But still, you know, I was like, wow, man, wow, it, it, it just floored me. So they're not perfect, but they're at least an, uh, an A or a B somewhere in there. So I'll say A. Okay, and put. Oh boy, uh, let's see. I don't want to get I don't want to get roasted or blasted by the chat this time around. So <laughs> go with Trailbreaker, man. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm gonna put I'm gonna take Scorponok for for S leader or uh, Titan class Scorponok. That figure is perfect upgrade to the G1 toy. And if you got the upgrade kits from DNA, it makes it even better. It gives it the clear face shield and all that stuff. And it's just, it's phenomenal. Just such a good figure. Okay. TFA. Ooh, let's just see where we go from here. Uh... I'm going to talk about one that not a lot of people really even acknowledge anymore. Uh, Earthrise Megatron, uh, the regular retail release, if he's on there, which I think he is. He should be. <laughs> yeah, he's right by Snapdragon. Uh, I'd have to put him probably at about... I'm going to have to put him around, again, probably B, just because the fact that they took the Siege mold, they re-engineered it, they retooled it just a little bit, and they gave him more of an Earth-style tank mode is a really cool concept because of course you can't turn Megatron into a gun anymore. That's a lot of gun restriction. <laughs> and mute toy control. Oh, I, I still really you know enjoy this quite a lot. You know, what's funny about the forgettability of that figure is I recently did a video and talked about all the earth upgrades in the siege and Ironhide video. And I totally forgot Megatron even existed when I was talking about all of them. Mega I who? totally forgot this existed. Mega what? How dare you, sir? <laughs> Uh, okay, lazy. Your choice. Uh, I want to go with Blue Streak for five hundred. To find him. Ah! <laughs> oh, that'd be fun if uh, it's like row, dead in the middle, row, right next to the clones. Down to the twins. Next to the twins. Third row. There you go. Yeah. Okay, where are we going? Yeah. Uh, a. Okay. A tier. I love the Datsun mold, and if I could, I'm probably going to pick the Datsun every single time. It's not perfect. There's this little things I don't like about it, but if in general, I think it's one of the better figures of Earthrise. Okay. Lazy. No, you're back. A big old A, like the Fonz. Hey. Quick, quickly, Jay Hala. Welcome, Jay Hala. Love Jay Hala. Good friend. Uh, Jay um, Hala. And I must defend myself. He said the, the you know, MicroMasters all fell apart. On him. That's unfortunate. For me, it was a big nostalgia factor there, okay? For me, yes, they weren't perfect, but for me, it was all about the nostalgia. So my choice for the third one would be, um, I got to say Grapple. And I'll put, I'll put him in A, or, or B, actually, a B. I'll put him in A or B, B or A, because um, he was really good, um, objectively speaking. A. Sorry. It's a, it's a trail breaker, right? I would look for Grapple. Uh, grapples the bottom grapples on the bottom middle by star screen yeah by star screen yeah. yeah you said a you know yeah cuz grapple and inferno both were just amazing man i i like that mold i do i some people had problem with you know problems with the pegging or whatever and and you know and it's but still it's a great thing overall very representative you could immediately identified who that was immediately it was just is a good all around good figure. They did a fantastic <laughs> job. Input. You sure it's not Hauler from G1? <laughs> <laughs> I'm waiting for him to be released. I was, waiting for, for, I, was waiting, I was waiting for an erector uh, uh, version to come out, and you know, that'd be sure. <laughs> okay. Um, let's do sound. Let's say go with uh, sound barrier, third row, second one over. You just went over and buy G2. And, uh, let's drop him down in the F category. <laughs> and uh, I would and, object uh, if I had an objection to give. I mean, honestly, 
honestly, I think I think the gimmick is cool. I, I think, well, not the gimmick, but the Transformer fans as a whole, whoever came up with buying like 12 of those things to make a space bridge is ingenious. Ooh. But just... It's a plank. <laughs> yeah, he turns into he turns into a bridge. Turns into a drifting piece, oh, come on. Into a drifting piece of wood. <laughs> come on. I, I don't know if I want to say anything, but uh. <laughs> okay, TFA. Uh, let us see these selections again, my good man. Thank you very much. Uh. Oh god. Okay. Um, I'm gonna do the uh, Autobot Alliance pack, uh, Ironhide and Prowl, and I definitely would again sort of. I probably would put them again with B, just like I did with Megatron and Punch Counter Punch. A lot of Bs right now, I know, but like again, the same idea of retooling the Siege Ironhide and remolding it to make it look like that Nissan um, Venet. Is that how you say that, Lazy? I try to listen to your pronunciation. Yeah, yeah it's it's Venet. Yeah. Okay. But, um, the fact that, yeah, but the fact that they managed to, to make that form and they still kind of incorporated the modern day uh, engineering and such of it, just, I mean, it's also a mainline iron eye, granted, the fact of exclusivity, but, you know, whatever. And then Prowl, I mean, come on, who didn't see that one coming? It's a good set regardless, and both figures are pretty good. It could have been better, but hey, anything can be I, better. You know? I got to I gotta say this, though. That brings up the Ironhide, all that stuff, it brings up a very, I think, a very valid point, right? Or a very valid idea. Maybe Hasbro should start dropping at least one figure from each wave to put more money into a figure. Something like Ironhide, instead of using the Siege feet, they could have engineered like an actual back door foot kind of thing for the back section uh, of the a lot of the re-engineers have some sacrifice and they're coming out with studio series 86 ironhide much in the same way they're doing the rc coming up so which is a good way to don't utilize worry. <laughs> which is a good way to utilize oh is it, is it my turn see I, okay I, I was about to say i agree with tfa's thing about the ironhide thing just because i rank him so low but ironhide's or prowl so high so it balances out i agree with the b anyways uh star scream c class uh, Star screams yeah. at the bottom. There you go. Thank you. I want to put him in F, but yeah, thank you. <laughs> See, I like. Are you objecting, Bill? Do you want him to be a D? Because if you're objecting, we'll give him Obje a D. Objection. I'm. I'm using my objection. Objection. F. Because I sure. strongly dislike the. Uh, you know, uh, I was gonna go with D, but I just didn't want to rank him that low. But I mean, like, uh, okay, uh, I'll take it. I just, I like that he's the F15. I like that it's a Voyager class version of. The classics, but I also don't like that it's the classics version, if that makes sense. Exactly. Nope. Absolutely agree with that. Absolutely. Okay. Uh, back to Bill. Uh, the, uh, what was it? The uh, uh, leader class double dealer. Double dealer was a, in my opinion, a really good, and we'll put him at, uh, I'm going to put him at S. Really? Oh. Okay. Wow. Yes, because I well I I had apparently the I I had the only copy where the guy the QC guy was apparently on on the job. I don't know because I had zero problems with mine. I mean, these keep popping off I mean, of mine. With the QC. He's he's gonna gonna stay I, I mean, he he he. he I must never been, owned know, the figure, but I heard just, so uh, many complaints. The guy who was doing QC that day must have just got a cup of coffee and walked back to the line because, man, mine was great. <laughs> I mean, I yeah, with, with the whole QC thing, my, we were in the middle of a pandemic. Just, no, just I'm, true. I'm not going to I'm not going to uh, use my objection on this, but I will say I do enjoy that figure, but okay, I would well, not I would not put him as an S. Well, let's put I, him would, down to a to a B. Let's put him down to a B. I'll I'll change it myself and put it down to a B. How about that? Objecting yourself. What a move. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't yeah. cost anything, so why not? Big but, brain. But see, I, I like the fact that we had every mode that he had originally, okay? I like that. The colors were were pretty much on point. I, I they 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 got that that teal color perfectly. They got that darker sort of greenish blue color. I mean, it it was great. I didn't much care for how they did the wing transformation and how open the front end of that uh, alt mode missile truck was, but overall, 
I think it was a great figure. So, okay. I just think the only issue I have with that double dealer is the fact that, yes, while later we ended up did getting his Power Masters, I feel like they could have just threw those in, but at the same time, it probably would have raised the price more, but at the same time, I think it would have been beneficial. His anyway. <laughs> yeah, input. Uh, so I got a question. Does Runabout and Runamuck count as the same thing because it's the same They're separate. Mold? Or are they separate? Yeah, well, they were called separate. Same argument. So. They were called separately. Run about was a target. Separate for some stupid reason. Okay. Yeah, because I, I think uh, run a muck is in the others category, which is a video for later. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so I'm gonna go with uh, which one is the black one? Run about, right? Yeah. Run about, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> there's the there's the question about context. <laughs> uh, man, I gotta I gotta put him as a B. I'll put him as a B. I, I love red and black color combination. It's so evil, but I, I'm just afraid that one day that backpack's just going to snap. You know? Oh, the, the transparent plastic, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 I agree with input. He, 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 B, B is a good spot for it. I respect that decision. Okay. Uh, TFA, your choice. I'm going to piggyback off the of input and I'm going to do runabout. Uh, he's over. Well, that, that's a different series. Uh, run amok. Well, no, you still run amok. Run, oh, no. Well, I'm telling you to pick a figure. Run amok is in the other series because this was a store exclusive. Yeah, mm -hmm. but you have him on the list right there. I, do yeah, I? The yeah. No. I forgot. <laughs> no, run I, did this. Yeah. I did this a month ago. So things aren't, you know, in my plus, head. Plus, runabout was the one that was a store exclusive. He was the target exclusive. Oh, I, I don't know. I, I remember going to the store, the person bringing out the entire case, and I'm like, why did you bring the entire case? I just want one. And they're like, oh, well, usually somebody just comes and grabs all of them. And I'm like, uh, no. Hey, that's but Thanks for telling me there's a scum bag in the area. area. Yeah, th that is that happens to me rather frequently at Target for some reason. And yeah, TFA in a live stream yesterday was talking about how uh, the, the Target employees are actually surprised when somebody comes in and doesn't ask for the entire case of a figure. Hmm. That it shouldn't be something. It should. It should. I don't think that should be something that's been regular. I, I cannot believe that that is something that happens so often with scalpers that a regular consumer who just wants one has to be surprised by this. It's sad. It, it honestly kind of made me sad, but at the same time, that, that employee was like super kind. She was like, you know, thank you so much for just buying one copy and not being like other people because you leave some for everyone else. And I encourage people to be like Do that. that because yeah. Why would you? Why would you ruin it for everyone just because you want to make a quick buck? Right. Because they want to make a quick buck. They don't care about anyone else. They love yeah. money. That, that, that's a whole other video topic. But yeah. <laughs> it I, is. I, I absolutely agree. It's still technically our topic, though, because with Rebout, that was kind of something similar. So even with Runamuck in the last wave of Earthrise, that's what happened. Scalpers bought them up like crazy, and then no one could find the last wave on yeah. top of poor distribution. So, Okay, my turn. Um, Sorry about I was going to say, oh yeah, Skywarp Thundercracker, uh, whatever tier I put Starscream in. Oh yeah, D, <laughs> yes. Uh, we'll, here, we'll leave one for the next collector. Oh, but uh, those two, were they came in a box set. Well, you could, you could, uh, did they? Yeah, they did. Yeah, Fudge. they did. They did. Okay. I don't know yeah. why the pictures were separate. trying to cheat me out of a, out of a thing. Anyways, um, I would have ranked them lower because, because I don't like the colors, but I like that they came in a two pack so that they became easier to find because you get the trio. So I, I think they're a D. I like that they were a two pack, but I don't like Thundercracker's colors. Okay, Lazy likes the D. Okay, uh, Bill, you're uh, up. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to go with the weaponizers. Ironworks. I man, and I'm gonna put him in at uh B. Um, yeah. Uh, is, no, that's Hot House. That's Ironworks. Is, no, where is he at? Now, boy, 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 boy. And he's beside Hoist at near the bottom in the middle. Yeah. The reason why is. I put him as a B is because what should have happened, I don't know, when they released that ten pack of MicroMasters, they had what Iron Sides or something. The, the yellow semi truck they called Iron Side. He's actually Ironworks. I don't know why they changed his name until you know. Then they released Ironworks itself as this you know deluxe weaponizer thing, and which is great. I like the fact that they took what was a MicroMaster base and made him into his own character. I I dig that. I do. I dig that. So I appreciated that when that happened. 
and the fact that you know you could take him all apart and assemble him in different various ways you know you can make him look one way or the other and attach him to all these other things and to uh, all the characters and i i loved it i loved it so subjectively he should probably be higher but because they you know changed the name of the original toy to fit this uh he's a b for me okay input okay <laughs> let me uh let me spin the wheel of morality here turn 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 morality. turn 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 uh i'm gonna take i'm gonna take the one that surprisingly no one has i'm gonna take earthrise optimus prime and i'm gonna throw him in the it's top row middle uh, that's that's uh, that's that's shattered glass. Shattered glass. That shattered glass op- well, okay, then I'll take shattered glass Optimus Prime. And well, the Earth Rise one is down there. It's just closer by thrust on the third row near the end. Uh, yeah, no, no, I'll, I'll take I'll take shattered glass Optimus Prime instead. Right. Uh, I'm gonna throw him an S. Eh. Because- okay, Bill, what is the objection? <laughs> objection because it's shattered glass. And then but knows I hate shattered glass. <laughs> okay, where would you put shattered glass prime and then we'll split the difference? Uh, I would put him as a B. So we're going what? A then. Okay. So an A. An A. That's lame. <laughs> <laughs> so as I said earlier, Bill obviously doesn't like Transformers. Hold on, I got a question. Can we can can I use my objection to counter his objection and yes. throw it back up to an yes. end? <laughs> How am I gonna <laughs> Uh, uh, plus? What? There's no splitting the difference, man. Yeah. Objection sustained. Oh. Objection sustained. <laughs> oh. <laughs> we have fun. <laughs> oh, crap. My turn. Um, By any chance, do you happen to have Corpse Prime on there? On uh, uh, yes. No, he might be. In, oh, is he? It's in there. Oh, no, he's po- there. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Second by, row, third uh, one. Tiger Track. Side Tiger Track. Uh, oh, here you go. Second row, third yeah. one. Where are we putting them? Literally, S. Because what better way to sell an Optimus Prime if he's dead? What's the trailer? <laughs> <laughs> I love the fact that they just sold a dead Optimus and said, oh, he's from an alternate universe. Okay, so Chris Cool, it's now on the screen. He's my brother. So he's the CEO of Hatchless Net. Say hi, Chris. Hi, Chris. Okay, there you go. Okay. Uh, Hi, Chris. Hi, Chris. Also, uh, just to point out, he, he does have a charity. It's called One Up on Cancer. Uh, one Up on Cancer dot org. Number one, U P O N C A N C E R dot org. Uh, if you want to donate to help people with cancer, uh, pay their bills. So uh, that is One Up on Cancer dot uh, dot org. So um, now we're going to move on to who's next? Lazy, because I just lazy. Okay, so lazy. Where are we going? Okay, regular Earthrise Prime, regular Earthrise Prime. And I it's had it S. in my hand once. Where did it go? Where did it go? Top row near the end. <laughs> oh, the which there, you put it? there it is. Yeah, because the honestly, it's my favorite Voyager class G one Optimus Prime that has ever released. Absolutely. The yeah, only absolutely. Voyager class Optimus Prime that has ever surpassed it, in my personal opinion, is uh, the Bumblebee movie one, and that's that's it. That's the only thing that tops this. For me, I get some people don't like it. Some people prefer Siege. That's fine. This is my favorite. I I get. I will say this: the generations uh, reveal the shield Optimus with the giant shield forearms, there were his doors, windows, and all. Dude, for the longest time, I thought nothing will top that Optimus Prime for me. Nothing. And then Earthrise for its time. And I was, huh? Yeah, it was, it was good for its happened. time. Yeah, it was great for its time. And then Earthrise happened. And I was like, oh. I was wrong. Earthrise we, tops it. <laughs> right away. Right I'm sorry, away Lego Dude 16. I, was, I know you don't I like this much. Doing, uh, <laughs> uh, I was still doing the uh, um, Tales from Teletran show with input, and we were reviewing what the newest releases at the time. And both he and I, when we first you know, saw those images of the Earthrise Prime, we were just like, oh, uh, wow. <laughs> we were almost struck speechless at first. So I, yeah. I, remember, I remember that episode clearly because – because then it was just like, um, oh man, I mean, he actually had to stop and think about what he wanted to say next. So, because I was impressed too. So, yeah. Okay. Uh, who's next? Uh, I oh, got actually, this. I am. 
No, oh, there you go then. Okay, I got uh, distracted talking to my brother. Go ahead. Yep. Smoke screen. Uh, um, I smoke screen. I just w- here again was a figure that on the same program we all were talking about it. And when I first saw those images and how good. Second row near the end. Yeah, and I think we should put him in it as an A because right. I, I love the colors, the amount of paint work that the, the amount of paint on the figure is, is amazing. All right, and clean lines. Just some people will complain about the number. I, I, I get it. I get it. But you know, it, in my axe. mind, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> you can only get upset about over too. It's like it's G1 well, expired. It's not going to be pure G1. Yeah, right? you, you know you say that, but this is the guy who just in his uh, laser prime review went batshit over the fact it didn't have a G2 Autobot logo on it. So <laughs> uh, I'm back crazy over it because you know. But still, the smoke screen looks so good. I was just like, you know, Prowl looked okay. You know, Barricade, all right, fine, whatever. You know. The, Silver streak, blue streak, okay, but this smoke screen he just stood out and still stands out, even among all the others. You light them up, and I'm almost guaranteed to look at smoke screen first. It is my Hand favorite foot. mold, hands down. All Hand right. Foot. Some clear plastic. Let's <laughs> see. Let's see. Let's see. I will take the Quintesson. Oh, oh I think they pronounce it Quintesson. <laughs> Don't you start that. <laughs> My OPD will not allow that. It's Quintesson. It's always been Quintesson. Are you winning Quintesson? Um, <laughs> I, I will put him. Oh, geez. Is, I will put him as a B. Um, oh, I got to object. Oh, well, okay, Lazy. Where are we putting him? Okay. Where, where do I you want object. him to go? I did not object. Oh, I'm sorry, did. TFA, sorry. TFA ejected, yeah. TFA, where do you want him to go? Where, where, where would to, you put him? I have to, like, I'm, okay, I'm biased because I love really obscure, freaky-looking characters with wacky repaints and designs. I'd instantly put him around probably up an S because it's the first official, oh. like, G1-inspired Quintesson figure we've ever mm. got. Like, yeah, we've had Energon, and it was very unique, a lot more alien, but, like, this is just, like... It's, it, to me personally, this is like perfection for a Quintesson. And yeah, the, the alt mode is really dumb, but at the same time, it's also really fun because... I, I only agree with your objection because it only goes up to A because, it's yeah, it's a good Quintesson, but it's not a good figure. I mean, half the faces don't even work brushed the same as the other ones do. That's that's why I put it as a B. And honestly, I would put it at a low B, maybe a high C, because only three of the jaws operate. You well, know, mathematically, yeah, uh, an A is pretty much my only option. So there we go. Hey, it is. Okay. That is that is that. Uh so TFA, your pick now, I guess. Um he just did wait. That who was did that. No, I didn't oh, no, that my was, bad. I'll, I'll no, put, you're, I'm not host. I'll hush. <laughs> I'm gonna hush. Um going on with the Quintessons, I'm gonna take or I'm gonna take uh Alicon. Um Ooh, I, I, was was, I again I'm I love these really wacky weird generation one inspired characters and um uh, the quintessons are one of my favorite aspects of generation one so i'm gonna have to put them up again with like a uh because that beast mode the fact that they found a way to almost replicate it almost like one to one except made him more like upright as opposed to more like crouched they still made it work somehow and it just blows my mind how far we've come in terms of transformers engineering and design it's just it's outstanding agreed Okay, Lazy, your turn. I know I'm going to get an objection for this, but uh, Shattered Glass Ratchet and F. <laughs> because I hate, <laughs> the, siege, I hate the Siege Ratchet agreed. mold and I hate Shattered Glass. 100% agreed. Ow. Just because it's sh- Shattered Glass. I have no so, connection. For sh- I mean, I have Shattered Glass figures, but I don't have that much of a connection. So I just I'm hate just... the whole mirror universe concept in general. It's only ever been done once, and that was in one show. Yeah, I, I, I'm not a big fan of it. Look, I, I, I get I, it. It's a different story, a different take on an old story. I totally get it, but it's just not in you, my bag. It's not. I'll, I'll say this. I love Shatterglass. 
to death. It's it's my favorite. And good thing for you. Transformers has ever done, <laughs> and it's mainly because. <laughs> and it's, you can and like it all you want. Go ahead. Passive oh, aggressive. No, 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 it's cool. It's cool. I mean, he's got his opinion, and he's entitled to it, no matter how wrong it is. But <laughs> the thing is, it's such, it's such a different take. Right, like Transformers gets boring. Prime's a good guy. Megatron's the bad guy. There's a war on Cybertron over energy. Herp a derp a derp. It's the same story, but here Optimus Prime is a serial killer. He's sadistic. He's <laughs> twisted. He's like I said, it's an old. Case it's almost on, like on they wrote road. Megatron I, as a truck. I, I, I get it. I, I get it. anyway. No, they didn't know. write Megatron as a truck at all. Nowhere near. I've never read Shattered Glass. I'm just throwing out words. <laughs> don't no. worry about me. Well, I'm pretty sure you could throw out some. You, I I, you could probably throw out some, and you'd probably make like an accurate description of one of the already existing characters. Yeah, that's fair. Shattered glass is okay. Here's my I mean, quick. Here's my quick thing on our Shattered Glass Mirror Universe thing. The only show I've ever seen do it right is Buzz Lightyear of Star Command, where it wasn't the whole universe that was flipped. It was just Buzz Lightyear. And it was like, that works. You have the one hero is flipped. I can totally roll with that because all of a sudden everyone's life is screwed up because of one character change. I'm down with that because Chaos 3 is thrown right out the window once you do Shattered Glass things. That's okay, my next. Thing. That's fair. That lazy eyebrows next. Yep. I just did, uh, remember, I did F class. Yeah, he did oh, F class right. for a rat. Oh, so it's, so it's oh yeah. boy, we got a lot of conversation. I'm I lose my place. Even though, even I never got objected with that. Even I'm though surprised. I do not own the toy, I want to select Astro Train. Even though I do not own the toy myself, That's I never could find him. No, uh, he got yeah, rid of Yeah, it's just about Nerf Rice, though. though. Really it's like a Blaster's right. also Legacy. Yeah, okay. And wave one, uh, but even though I don't own him, uh, my brother does have one, and you know he's let me, you know, play with it unbeknownst to him uh, several times. <laughs> and and uh, um, I gotta say, he's at least an S. I, I mean, the least. most he could be is an S, but okay. <laughs> he is um, at the very bare minimum the best he can be. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Yeah. Objects. See, I want to say objection. Uh, objection. Objection. I mean, objection. 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 He's not that good. Mainly because I'm a huge yeah, stickler for trains. His train just sucks. Okay. Well, I'll you see. just saved him, put an objection I was going to use for, for him. Okay. That's okay. I probably won't have much objections after this. I only got no, one I'm, left, so I got to stop. <laughs> I'm saving. I'm saving my objection when Ninja Bill gets something really wrong. <laughs> I'm, sure I only have two objections. I'm not that bad. Well, okay, maybe. Well, I'm objections good. right now. We have Bill with one, input with three, Lazy with one, and TFA with two. Oh dang! I, I have two? one left. Okay, so uh, next up is input. We waste objection on RC. So I'm trying to figure out what this <laughs> is on the top row next to exhaust, to, uh, to the right of exhaust. Um, what is that? Oh, it's that's black, fast track. Oh, that's, uh, no, black it's Orici. Black Orici. Oh, it's Black Orici. Okay. Um, it, it's a, it's a, a Super God Master Force repaint of uh, fast track. Sure. Yeah, it's uh, Black Zero. I'll, I'll just believe you on that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, let's do... I'll do uh, G2 Sandstorm. And I'll put him at a C. Hey, or C finally has some company. Mainly, <laughs> right? Mainly simply because I do enjoy when Hasbro finally releases something that's only ever been a prototype for forever and a day or something just really really obscure so i do enjoy that that got a release it's unfortunate that it's got the yellowing issues and stuff i was actually there. about to address that um i think it's really unfortunate but uh like i said i do think it's 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 still an earthrise seeker mold but it's at least it finally got released 25, 30 years later, whatever it is. It also the yellowing also works for him with the whole sand aesthetic. So it's like you can't really get upset by that. It does suck, but if you look at it a certain way, it, it works. Okay, TFA. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do. I'll go ahead and do the Earthrise uh, Target exclusive clones, Wingspan and Pounce uh, by Snapdragon. 
and I'd have to probably put those at roughly around uh, probably at the uh, the B again because originally these guys were. Oh, I said B, not A. <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't learn my alphabet. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, I wasn't trying to come off a certain way there. Um, I was just saying, <laughs> like the Titans return stuff. The fact that these guys were separated between two different packs. We had one that was in the uh, Chaos on Velocitron pack. Or no, we had one in the Walgreens exclusive pack, and then we had the one on the Siege on Cybertron set from Big Bad Toy Store. Was kind of like a little bit of a headache to try to track down. So the fact they re-released them in a more Generation 1 inspired deco, toy or anime or the cartoon, I literally don't know. Feel free to correct me. Um, I think it's really cool that they finally gave us those. And then later on, obviously, they gave us the Autobot clones as well. So it's a nice little treat for people who want to finish off their 1987 cast. Okay. Lazy. Um, I'm going to go. Is the cone heads there? Right here? D. I worked oh. so hard to get those guys, and then I got them in hand, and I was like, why did I want this? I just think they, they, oh, they were such a disappointment. Also, they never ate a full sub sandwich like you see in the movie. It bothered me. I don't understand that reference, but moving yeah. on. There's a movie called Coneheads. It's Saturday Night Live. Oh, <laughs> Dan <laughs> Android and whoever else is in it. Jane, yeah, Jane Curtin. <laughs> okay. Sometimes I feel I've got to. Well, no way. I've got to. Please don't unmonetize. Uh, Bill. <laughs> um, okay, uh, I got a quick question. I I don't think Spinister was Earthrise. I thought he was Siege. I see him there on the list, but wasn't he? That's not Spinister. That's uh, Rotorstorm. Rotor Storm. Oh, Rotorstorm. Okay, I was going to say, wait a minute. Um, but anyway, I'll go, I'm going to pick that mold anyway because it was a really good mold, and I'm going to put him in the, as a B. Uh, um, I thought it was a really great mold, and that is a good use of the mold as well. Um, I love the transformation on that thing. It was, it was fantastic transformation. So, yeah, I'm going to put that as a B. I'm just happy okay. I can finally have that, and I can reference that really dark, gritty issue or the panel in Wreckers where Overlord oh, just squishes yeah. his head after making him laugh. Like, Wreckers combined! <laughs> <laughs> and what? All right. I'm going to take Wheeljack. Uh, second row, closer to the end, next to a hoist right there. Um, I'm going to go with a B for Wheeljack. Um, it's such a good update to the original figure, and he's got so much better proportions than the original G1 figure does. But does he feel short to anybody else? Yeah. Objection, so, so I can say he can be in C. I'm going to say he's a D. <laughs> <laughs> Daisy's officially out of objections. I don't care. I, I'm, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> I've said my piece. Well, you can always do your own list. I'll give yes, you I five. gave the link. Okay, um, TFA. Sorry, I need a drink. Um, you know what? I'm gonna rob. A, I'm gonna have a little bit of fun. I'm gonna do thrust. Second row at the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> Um, second row on the bottom. Oh, yeah. Oh, like, second, ah, that's not there. second row near the bottom. Yeah, is what I meant to say. Uh, I'm definitely going to put him roughly around uh, C because he was a semi easy release to get, as far as I know, because I saw him like a couple times at my local Target. I did not have any issues with getting him, and I'm kind of biased towards a Red Seeker. Um, granted, he's more of like a Burgundy, but it's also. The fact that with the cone heads they and the uh, secret mold in general, they recalled a lot of the jet mode and they made them look as accurate as possible towards that source material. So I'm really glad that they exist. I just hate the fact that they were all separated into exclusives of some freaking kind, other than Starscream and uh, yeah, actually other than Starscream. So okay, you put them exactly where I was going to as well. So that saves me a turn. Lazy. <laughs> <laughs> <you? laughs> uh, <laughs> Sunstreaker. He's going to be an uh, A class. A dead center in the middle. Yeah, there you go. A class. Uh, this is exactly what I've wanted them to do for a Sunstreaker in a, for a very long time. If just if you are yeah. animation accurate, then fine. But the fact the that they used a chunk of the roof to make it was just 
exactly what I wanted, and I just think he's great. Okay, Billy, I, did you, I, who, object, I object. I object. Okay. I, yeah. Uh, where, where should we put it? Where do you want it to go? Attorney object. Uh, well, I guess he would land in C, right? Because, or you want it to go to F? Like, if you're saying C, then I'd put it in B. Oh, I see what you mean. Okay. Um, then if I say F, he lands in C, correct? Yes. Okay, because that's where I would put him. Because every part that's yellow on him does not match. That is true. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. Oh. You could have at least dragged him down to a B. I would have accepted that. But a C, oh, you've done him a disservice. Also, he doesn't have a spoiler. But then again, we have lazy to thank that, for the spoiler upgrade. That's again the whole the whole yellow thing, though. That's fair. I totally forgot about that because I painted mine. Okay, and uh, next, I believe it's me, and I'm yes. going to say oh, yeah. the target the target two pack uh, clones wingspan and pounce, and I. I my eyeballs have lost them. I had them a minute ago. Uh, no, I did the wingspan and pounds. Oh, you did? Yeah. Oh, I put them up uh, yeah. Cloudraker and uh, whatever the face is the uh, other twi- Cloudraker and fast lane. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Did you okay, want that? Uh, or did you want something else? Um. Well, no. I'll pick some. Cause yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead and do that Autobot two pack. Uh, um, they were nice updates. I wouldn't give them anything more than a C. Um, they were nice updates, but they, I, I. I don't know. They weren't fantastic. Okay. Also similar, just like Wingspan and Pounce, they were both separated from two different box sets with that Walgreens <laughs> and also that uh, Chaos yeah. Envelopicon set, which also made it a bit of a hassle to obtain. I am surprised that set still has value. Did you think after the double packs being released with the complete set, that, that people would be giving that away with the orders? Yeah, right? Yeah, but it's opposite. It's crazy. Yeah, it's weird. The, the weird thing too is like both of these clone packs are not exactly the same as what they were in those other box sets. Like the fast lane and cloud breaker are exactly the same, but the wingspan and pounce are a variant. They have like mm-hmm. darker purple compared to like the lighter pink. Yep. So input. Uh hmm. Is that okay? Who is that? Is that deep cover right there on the second row? Second, is that deep cover? Yes, it is. Okay. Um, ah, but which deep cover do you mean? The black one or the blue yeah. one? That's what I was asking. Which one oh, is this? That? Is the black one. The black or maybe it's the blue one. Hold on. Let me. <laughs> I don't think you have the it looks blue like, one. It looks it's like the black one. one. Yeah. The blue one was the Netflix exclusive. That's why. So yeah, that's this the, is black. That's, yeah. the yeah. that's the Earthrise slash Gen Release one. Gen Selects mm-hmm. one. Yeah, that's fair. Okay. Uh, I'll put him. Um, I'll put deep cover as a B. Okay. I don't hear any objections. Wow. Nope. Okay. Uh, TFA. Surprised no one has picked this one yet. I'm gonna go ahead and do the uh, Centurion weapons pack, which is on the second row near the end by uh, Ratchet and Lifeline. Oh yeah. Hmm. Because I'd forgotten, I'd forgotten about that. Because Sue Brunt was such a pleasant surprise to me that he actually mm-hmm. now exists along with Cog and uh, Six Gun and Slammer. So the fact that they did Brunt, and not only did they do that, but they took it, painted it silver based off of the uh, Centurion Century drone from the comic Stormbringer, and they gave us a crap ton of accessories to go with it. Uh, I'm also going to put it at a B, because while it's not 100% a unique figure, it is diversified enough to justify that it still can be its own character while also pertaining a lot of uh, the usual aspects of Brunt. I can, Plus the mold is just really cool. You can never go wrong with weaponizers. I 100% agree. Okay. Uh, uh, lazy. The Cordon and Spin Out 2-pack, I'm going to say it's an A because Enput can just go walk, take a hike. Uh <laughs> 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 I love what they did to the Sunstreaker mold. Okay. <laughs> now, now hold on, hold on. I want to make this. I want to make this clear. I don't have a problem with the mold at all. I just had an issue with Sunstreaker being like four shades of yellow. Sure. That's <laughs> fair. <laughs> this is my chance to redeem myself, and I'm picking those two. How many more objections do I have, Anthony? Two. <laughs> don't you dare. <laughs> <laughs> we better use them up because we're nearing the end. <laughs> Dang it! I should have said that. <laughs> are, are, what are we doing input we using them we're not using them no i'm not using them i'm just okay. teasing lazy guy, bro. <laughs> okay. i also love the fact that they're diaclone repaints like that's so rare for transformers that's so cool those. 
Not these days, though. No, not these days. I mean, in general. Like, if you were looking back, like, 10 years ago, they never really did Diaclone repaints, and now they're, like, embracing them more so than ever. Just Instead great. of just being San Diego Comic-Con exclusives or whatever. Yeah, yeah, or, like, exclusive masterpieces. As far as paint goes, since we're talking about those two, I don't like that the, the arms aren't painted, so you get this big chunk of black at the back of it. I'm still keeping it as an A, though. Okay. That's fine. I'd keep it. I'd keep it as an A. I'm fine. Okay. But spin out. Anyway, that's the end of my turn. <laughs> Bill. Oh boy. Uh, Bill, 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 Bill. Bill, Bill, the well, ninja no, guy. Boy, God. <laughs> uh, boy, oh boy. Um, good question. Getting slim pickings at this point. We got the yeah, two pack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got some of the fo uh, fossilizer uh, weaponizers. We got. Uh, you yourself there, Anthony. <laughs> I have a tracks here. We got uh, Hubcap. We got the G2 Megatron. <clears throat> uh, you still got Trailbreaker. Or, no, is that, is that Trailbreaker? Yeah, right? Trailbreaker. Yeah. That's Trailbreaker's hoist Trailbreaker, there, too. Yeah. Um, what about Airwave? Uh, I thought Airwave. I, I thought it was decent. It was, it was an attempt to do something similar. I would put him as a C. Um, I like oh, the weaponizer no. gimmick. He's great as a weaponizer, oh. but... Doesn't quite fit the actual MicroMaster, you know, base that he originally was. But so he, that's why he's a C. Still a good figure overall. If he got one where the parts didn't fall off it because they were so loose. Is okay. Is I'm gonna, I'm, or is it a she? Because I've seen things where like someone said Airwave was a she. And it's like I'm okay with that, but at the same time, it's like what what is what is their designation? I think, I've never cared about the gender. I think I think Airwave is a he because, I mean, I I say he because it looks like a he. I mean, yeah. Right. Uh, well, I look, mean, look at look at Obsidian and you know that 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 that's a chick only. You know, she buff. Uh, what was that? Like a not Obsidian. Tra uh, Trax is uh, Trax is uh, the one with the blue head, Road red Rage. and blue. Yeah, Road Rage doesn't look female either though. So. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm, I'm asking that just because it's like I saw like chatter going around like fan forums saying like, "Oh, airwaves a he, no airwaves a she." It's like, oh, yeah, it's not worth arguing over. And put, yeah, I agree. I do, I do agree that not really, it's not worth arguing over. Um, but I do want to disagree and object to Ninja Bill putting <laughs> airwave where he is. I want to put him down to F, making him a D, which is where I would put him. Because that head sculpt is... Oh, amazing. yeah. Okay, you know what? I agree. We're I using agree. the objection system just to put them where we want them. Yeah. <laughs> well, I is want them at C. Well, I'm going to say F. <laughs> <laughs> Strategery. Head put figure. Um, I'm going to go with Trailbreaker. And uh, I'm going to throw him up as S because I'm a Toyota ah. fanboy. And All I've right. got that feeling... <laughs> I would agree. Uh, he's good. Yeah. He's a, he is he done is really amazingly good. well. And if you get the Centurion weapon pack, you get his little radar dish. Yeah. True. That's very true. True story. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do Snapdragon. Huh. Took, took the one I want. <laughs> <laughs> Where's it going? Um, I'm definitely going to put him at A, because this is one of the most uh, up-to-date, modernized renditions of the 1987 Horror Con, and I'm kind of, again, biased towards really creepy, weird-looking, obscure designs, and the Horror Cons, I mean, how weirder can you get, you know? Especially with, like, basic-looking robot modes compared to, like, the, uh, the Decepticon Headmasters and such. Like, uh, Ape Face is going to be in the Siege episode, and I know the color is going to come up because I hate the color. The white on him is so bad. Oh, yeah, yeah. That that was my only problem with Ape Face, too. But they did it right with him. They did it right with him. white color that just is so off putting. And I, I was I, like, yeah. I almost want to get a second one and just paint it white so that way I can just have that and then get rid of the Siege one or keep the Siege one for the stock purposes. Okay, lazy. I'm going to go with what Soundwave just said and what Input has already said, and Hoist is going straight to the top, because, man, that is such a great mold. It is one of the best uh, Toyota truck figures they've made since 1984. Mm. Agreed. Not getting yeah, a masterpiece. It's incredible. No objections here. What I love, what I love about those molds is figure. that those, those figures probably don't have that wide of love in the fandom, 
But whoever designed those has a hundred percent love for both of those characters. Like that's their favorite characters. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Give a round of applause to these wonderful figures. Yes. Yes. Okay. Uh, I think. Uh, we're next, right? Yep. Um, hmm. Hot house, you say? No, just. <laughs> no. No. Not even. Um. <sighs> Did we already put somebody already picked the race back track patrol? I don't see them uh, in there. Um, uh, yeah, are you were gushing about the micromasters. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Let see. There's this race car winning. I don't know which one this is. And there's this, that's, this that's one. It right there. That's, uh, the one with Big Daddy in it. Uh, I don't see it there. Was I think uh, the yeah. Yeah, that's that's the half of the one that has Daddy in it. Yeah, 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 right here. Because, yeah, he's might as, well just, yeah. Yeah. might as well just put that up there and see. Okay. Uh, input. Um, what's the what's the Decepticon shield bridge name? Was it Sound or it Double Double Cross or uh, double, double Crosser? Right. Yeah, Double Crosser. I think. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna take Double Crosser, cool. Cool. and uh, I'm gonna put him in F as well. Okay. Uh, TFA. I'm doing Battle Master wrong, and I'm immediately putting that in S towards to my bias because I love IDW, and I'm so glad he exists. <laughs> okay, you're in <laughs> <for that>. lazy. <laughs> a bug bite uh, D class just because he's not the Beetle, and I was really expecting the Beetle, and I was disappointed that he wasn't because Hasbro did it stupid and said, "Okay, Netflix, you can have exclusive rights to our Beetle thing." Oh, Walmart. Walmart. It's not even just Hasbro. Yeah. It was Walmart too, because apparently yeah, Walmart. Walmart owns the rights. They can't just yeah. That's right. That's what I meant. Like whoever it was, it's like yeah. We now own the exclusive rights to this incredible retool, yeah. and they're only doing it once. Yeah, I that's, agree. That was really stupid. Sorry, You're right? Okay, but, hey, back. but I will defend Bug Bite real quick though. Bug Bite character wise is constantly rebuilding himself and having new forms and stuff so see that's fair just, that's why i didn't put him as an f it's just he's all right i love the cliff jumper mold but i just i'm yeah. annoyed that it wasn't the beetle no i, I would have preferred the beetle honestly and i never even knew that whole thing about bug bite see, i was gonna turn it into herbie <laughs> that been good. i would love to see that i would have loved to see I, that. I loved what i ended up doing with it i made it the tofu car but like <laughs> I, I wanted Herbie. <laughs> oh, that's a new one, the tofu car. <laughs> hey, do you have lazy? Do you have those head those pop up headlights on your store? Uh, I I have the files up. I think if I don't, I'll put them up tonight. Okay. okay so, I, I, uh, Bill, you're next, right? Uh, go ahead and put Tiger Tracks. Uh, put him as a C. Uh, yeah, C, C. I, I was he had better colors than at least Sideswipe did. <laughs> so at least his colors matched more uh, um but you know let's see okay uh and put g2 megatron f <gasps> how are you i agree to... he's ugly he's ugly ugly, ugly. <gasps> it has nothing to, it has nothing to do with the coloring how are you going to release a megatron that's known to have his shoulder his cannon on his shoulder uh -huh. and make it a fusion cannon uh -huh. Just... what can i manipulate it to wasting an objection on this you don't have any objections. To do. <laughs> That's I'll why I said who's got an objection I'll, left and who can I manipulate to do so? <laughs> has two. Look, I, I have one left and I, I'll give it to you if you want it. Wait, how many do I have? A t I see Bill uh, has one, Input has one, TFA has two. If you're going to give it to me, I object because like well, it's not that bad. Know. It's so radical looking. It's so cool. I, I don't I'm know. Not, no, I don't look. My 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 main issue with that figure comes from the fact that his cannon is not on his shoulder. They didn't retool him at all. It's fair. I'm gonna say A so he can end up in C because I love <laughs> the colors on that. <laughs> okay, so who's donating the uh, the the point? I, I, I'm the giving the lazy eyebrow my last objection. Okay. So yielding to the floor, we're going to where we said uh, he wants the A to the C. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So endpoint got one. TFA has two left. And uh, who are we moving on to next? Uh, it was TFA, TFA right? TFA. It's TFA. Yeah. Turn. yeah um, I'm gonna go ahead and do exhaust, and I would probably put him up at. Uh, I put him up at B. 
Because I'm, I'm kind of, yeah. again, I'm sort of biased toward, again, towards uh, obscure repaints and such. So seeing more Diaclone love, and then also just having this guy now being an official Transformers character, which also, he got the debut in his own cartoon with Bug Bite and everyone. Um, it was pretty cool. So, yeah, why not? Oh, I love this one. Uh, Cyan Koopa goes, uh, GT Megatron is lower than RC. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Uh, glad that you're learning, Becky. Hey, Angel! Welcome, sweetheart. Love you. Oh, it's Um, Rebecca. Okay. I'm. Uh, It's my turn. I pick the Paradron Medics kit, and they're a solid D. (laughs) Okay. I don't like the Earth, the the life, the RC mold, and I don't (laughs) like the Venet mold, but they're okay. I, I guess I like solid D's as well, but okay. <laughs> I, okay. You know, this is not why I came here tonight, but... <laughs> <laughs> if you have a solid... I object. Okay. I, TFA I object? Okay, so what are, what, are we, what are we saying? I would say put them at uh, C. I don't think they deserve a D rank. I think they're they're good for what they are. At the, the only thing that was a pain in the... Uh, the rear was to try to get them because, of course, they're Amazon exclusives, and that was a really dumb decision. Exclusives yeah. are dumb. Oh, let that slide. <laughs> <laughs> Keep it on the theme. Because <laughs> I have no choice. Okay, uh, <laughs> Bill. Uh, let's take Hot House and slap him into D. Okay. Yeah, there you go. Someone okay, did a really cool little three upgrade kit of of Hot House and like made him turn into a tank, which I thought was kind of cool. Oh, the scene now had it actually you know cool. officially been like that, he probably would have been at least you know a B, but no, no, he's yeah, he's a D, he's a D. He's a repaint of freaking what Airwave? Airwave, yeah, yeah. yeah so yeah. it's like and this was like the third one, no, oh, second one because then we had a third one, but yeah, just yeah. gross. Uh, just a quick apology to any of the lazy eyebrow audience who who might be getting a little uh, offended. Uh, it's not the intention; it's just things end up that way. Yeah, I'm trying to keep it t- not too spicy. A lot of de sla- hot de slapping going it's, on it's right just, now. Yes. Yeah, it's, we're just yeah. having fun. It's all lighthearted fun. If you disagree with the list, more power to you. If you agree, hey, welcome, welcome, regardless. Oh no, there's just. just- <laughs> Anthony's apologizing for the jokes. You're here yeah, apologizing. Yeah, for this. Everything, everything's lighthearted. If you disagree, like just sending good vibes. Uh, in general. Please, somebody else. I understand. Please, somebody Whose else. turn is it? That's my turn. Else. Please pick Bug Bite to get him off the list. <laughs> <laughs> what's uh? What's the name of the bull uh, that turned into the hammer? Smash down. Smash down. down. Do what? I did not pay attention to anything less than Deluxe this entire way. I, <laughs> I will, I, I will, <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> I will put him a as an A. A hammer? <laughs> I don't even know why they re-released him because, like, I'm pretty sure he was like in the second or third wave of, of uh, Siege. And he was and everywhere. They re-release him as in Earthrise, and it's like, okay, weird choice. Yeah, don't me. be surprised you'll see him in the Siege list uh, next week or whenever I get this scheduled. Okay, yeah. so uh, next up is TFA. Uh, I'm going to do the, uh, actually, I'm going to do Slither Fang, um, because oh, I really I, I, enjoyed, this is one of the few of the Battle Masters for this particular toy line that I really enjoyed with the whole airlock system and everything. It's a where brand we going? new character that transforms into a ramp, yes, but it turns into a snake. That's sick. Mm-hmm. I'm putting him in A. Which okay. is why I wish Hasbro would start doing the Beast Wars, uh, second Beast Wars Neo in the legacy line i because i would love to have a karata oh, long, long, long rack i would yes. love to have a karata mock kick long rack i would love to have a, a magmatron i would love to have you know there's a lot of you know big convoy come on who would not love to have an update big convoy just i i hope they do anyway um i think it's lazy eyebrows too it's my turn i'm gonna take g2 ramjet and pop him in the b section because those colors are popping <laughs> it's true. It's true. It's G2 colors. So much popping, you need a pop filter. Man, they're just like they're neon and they're cool, and it's like it's it's the I did I didn't I skipped on that one, and I kind of regret it because man, those colors are like sick. <laughs> they're awesome. I do hate that. And I, I, I agree. 
I want to address this real brief because I, I did notice this on my copy, but apparently some of the joints are starting to yellow, so that's something to be aware of. Yeah. Dang. I, yeah. But I, I agree with Laser. It's a gr I love the colors, and I and I, I kicked myself because I didn't. I, I saw the opportunity to get it, and I passed on it and kind of regretted it ever since because, man, those colors do pop. It's a good Slipstream custom, too. On hey. Oh, I hadn't thought about that. Nice. Oh, yeah, yeah. There you go. I, I think G2 colors are ugly. But anyway, continuing on, uh, Bill, you're next. Um, what was that set with the shuttle and the base? Uh, um, the the uh, Metropolis? Rescue Metropolis set from the yeah, Galactic. Yeah, let's go ahead and pop that into B. I, I'm okay with that. That one was fun. Like, yeah, I'm okay that was that. the one that they were really letting their creative liberties like fly, and they, they really found a way to make Airwave and Ironworks a lot of fun. Yep. So th that is one of those things where they give you all the parts in general retail and then they take them, repaint them, and make them an exclusive. I'm okay with that because yeah. I still was able to build my own fake one with the previously released figures. Yeah, yeah. And and it's, a, it's a good set. Uh, um, it was well worth it. It was a good set. It was a good idea. I mean, a good release. And so, yeah. But still, overall, with the toys themselves, it, 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 it deserves a B. So. Okay. Uh, next, um, I'm gonna go hubcap, and uh, I'm gonna put <laughs> uh, hubcap in A. Oh, and I don't have any objections left either. And he knows it. What, are you gonna object against yourself? <laughs> well, it's either that or TFA. Okay. Um. Uh, I want to go ahead and discuss on the uh, Soundwave Spy Patrol third unit set. Uh, I love the idea and also hate the idea that, yes, we finally got the Power Masters for uh, Double Dealer. Uh, we ended up getting another obscure cassette, which was, I believe, Wing Thing. And then we yeah. finally got uh, Rumble or Frenzy, depending on what's your preference. So it was red, Frenzy, is blue. Okay, continue on. Where do you want it to go, man? I'm going to put it at B. Okay. Um. Also, I actually agree rib. with that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Also, rib for represent. Yeah. Uh, Blazy. Grease Pit. He's a B. I, yeah. I I didn't really much like Ironworks, but the fact that uh, they turned him into a car wash that was so cool. Or a garage, <laughs> right? I agree. That was it's that a was transforming gas really station. That's great. That Grease really is the word. That's a good idea for them to do that. Mm -hmm. I'm waiting for the blaster tapes. That would be nice. Yeah. It's a uh, sound wave. Eighty-eight four says buzzsaw, but I'm thinking I want thunder, ram horns, uh, steel jaw. Well, I, I think from what they said, they're not doing micromasters anymore for like separate releases. I feel like it's going to be like a four pack in Generation Selects. Yeah, I just wonder why they're not doing as many Generation Selects figures now. But then again, we have like how many different Transformers toy lines right now? <laughs> yeah. Too many. Right. Yeah. Uh, Bill's next, right? Yep. Let's okay, go with um, uh, Direct Hit and Power Punch. That was a pretty good update. I actually liked it. But again, yeah. uh, again I'm I'm biased. That's the blue, light blue combiner, Micromat. Yeah, them. And let's put them in C. Or no B, uh, actually B. It's a nice update to the. I'm a sucker for MicroMasters, you guys. I can't. I'm biased for MicroMasters. I can't help it. I'm sorry, but I take a step on them anyway. I, you're talking to someone who grew up with Minicon, so I I know what that's like. Exactly. I have all the Minicon. I, I grabbed every Minicon I could ever find. I, I just I, something about small transforming toys. I, I have to have oh, them. And these. Yeah. And that was a good set. Um, and it was—I think it was released in Siege first, and then in Earthrise again, if I'm not mistaken. When it, when it was because I'm pretty sure they were released in Siege first, and then a re-release in Earthrise. No, I can't see us either. That's okay. I don't remember. I literally do not remember. I don't think. Wait, you talking about Rat Bat and? Um, no, no, I'm guys? talking about Direct Hit and Power Punch. They were released in Siege. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. They were in the, I believe they're in the last wave of uh, Siege, and along with Rap Hat and Frenzy, and then they got re-released in Earthrise. Yeah, yeah. I had to thank okay. for that. Input. I'm going to go with Black Ruichi, and I'm going to put him at B. Black Luigi? Yeah. Ruichi. 
<laughs> That's called the ball of Willie G. Yeah. Mama yeah. Mia. <laughs> <laughs> okay, TFA. I'm going to piggyback off input and do fast track. I'm going to put him at A because I really enjoyed the fact that we finally got yet another component to one of the original Titans modernized. And they also gave us the bonus spear mode, which inspired Black Verici's. Okay. Uh, Lazy, you got three, uh, well, three sets, technically. Can I skip? Because I don't know what the heck these are. And you guys uh, might. So I'm just going to just, I pass. Okay. Bill. Um... Oh, if you pass, I'm in trouble. Uh, man, <laughs> I, th I think we already did the trip up. Uh, oh, wait. Um, so this is Groundhog, and then the next one is Fuser. Yeah, and Fuser. Yeah, Fuser. Fuser, Definitely okay. put Fuser and Fuser up there. Payload, I think, is what their yep, name is. Yep. Payload. Go ahead and put those in B. B. I actually, if I had an objection, I think it's an A, but I, I really like the rocket ship. And it's it's shuttle. I, it's not a rocket ship. Or shuttle, whatever. Shuttle. <laughs> you don't even like Transformers. What do you care? No, I'm... <laughs> oh, sorry. It's not Payload. It's it's Blastmaster is the name of the other one. Fuser that sounds appropriate. Uh, but I, I just like the fact that there is closed. Isn't it licensed? Or one of them was licensed by uh, from NASA. I think it was the one in the Botopolis set. But I mean, with Linksys and them, it's just it, they, they look so good. No, I think the only one that was licensed is Skylinks because for some yeah. reason they wanted to call it and they call them. It does on have them. NASA on the Skylinks. It does have yeah. NASA. Yeah, yeah it doesn't. Yeah. It's just it's it looks so oh. good. Wait, I'm sorry. You're right. Uh, yeah, Blastmaster and Fuser do have the NASA on them as well. So yeah, they were also. Uh... Yep. Okay. Input. You have two choices. All right. I'm gonna go with what's his name, uh, Roadhog. Okay. Where do you go? I'm gonna put him at a B. Is it because okay. he's a blue car? Well, he's it's just a good the design, the the engineering on the guy, it's just it's just a really good little fun figure. Little fun little desk figure to kind of flip back and forth. Yeah. Okay, so you have a much more in-depth opinion than I do because I have again no <laughs> point of reference with this. <laughs> See if it was me, I would have just like ah oh, B blue car. <laughs> 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 okay, and then uh, finally TFA Growl, and I forget his other dude's name. Uh, Growl and Bombshock, I'm definitely going to put them at B as well, because one, I had no connection to these characters, but I also like them because they remind me of Armada Minicons. Okay, yeah, and that is our cheer chart. And uh, so uh, people who are watching, uh, tell me what you think you would have done differently. Uh, also, again, remember in the, the description, there is a link so you can make your own tier chart. And uh, so, I I uh, I I don't I'm kind of surprised by some of the picks here. Uh, surprised? Wow. Yeah. Well, I have gotten it. Thanks to Rodimus Prime, I've gotten it into my head that RC is horrible. Uh, <laughs> anything G two shouldn't be any higher than F, and uh, the Micro Masters are middling at best. So, yeah. but then like Hubcap, I don't know Hubcap. I don't Hubcap has to come over and bought me a dinner when my grandparents died. I don't. I don't. Hub, if I <laughs> have a seat, I can't even run away. I'm Did sorry. Blue I hate buy you dinner with your grandparents died, or are we allowing oh, blue streak there? I or the last Optimus dead because he also killed him. So <laughs> <laughs> I don't bad for like three seconds. Okay, uh, okay. So for those of you who are watching, uh, we are going to do another one. It, hopefully next week. It will most likely be Siege. Uh, then in a couple of weeks, uh, there's a Kingdom one, uh, which I'm trying to work out a number of Canadians, so it's a little bit more difficult than it should be. And um, and then there's the Others category, which includes Studio Series, uh, Shattered Glass, and some store exclusives. And actually, the Others category is like the largest. It is 70 figures. It's oof. Um, and why were some of the ones here included? Because, so because when you go to the wiki... And when you go to TF okay, Wiki, it organizes them by when they were released in the timetable. So it's a good thing so, you didn't do a Cyberverse one because I'd be the only one in the show because I don't think anybody else but me really covers the Cyberverse story. It would be Lazy Skids, F, you. F, F, F. F. Oh, okay, A. F, F. Probably because I actually like the Cyberverse stuff. I do. Oh, that's that's fine. I didn't buy any of it. That's that's kind of what I was going with. Okay, so input in TFA, you have two objections left. Did you want to use them to make two of these go to a different place? You didn't say that was a rule. Now I feel cheated. 
<laughs> I do not expect to have any extra left over, but I want to if use I it. I had known that I could have there saved is no credit until the end. Hey, you even called me out on it on my live stream yesterday saying I had to stop being so nice. So I think you saw me have some left anyway. <laughs> so I want to I want to do this. I want to take um <laughs> I want to take one. Fun, <laughs> I want to take one of the Earthrise Seekers, uh, Starscream or Thundercracker Two Pack, whichever one, and I want to move it up to B. I worked and so hard making them D. Based on visceral betrayal. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh -huh. Mainly because, just mainly because, I really do enjoy that mold. I enjoy the the generations version of that mold, and the fact that we got it slightly upscaled after the fandom for I don't even know what ten, it's fifteen true. years. We have been asking since then, haven't we? Yeah, and we finally got it. So it's like, yeah, dude, that, I put him at B. Okay, TFA. Where would you put one figure? RCF. <laughs> now, and everything is right in the world again. RC at F 100%. I think the Thrilling 30s is the superior one. If you also enjoy the Titan to turn one to have your Headmaster RC for your 1987 cast, I think they did great. But no one asked for another updated RC, I'm pretty sure. But well, now, hold on. I'm going to question it because I, I never could find it. So I got a, I I got a question. No, okay. No. So here's the other thing about this, too, also, is that. Originally, I bought, I think it was Smokescreen, and I bought a, um, I bought another figure on a, from a guy on eBay, and they sent me an RC by mistake. Oh, no, it was Smokescreen and Airwave that I was trying to get. They didn't oh. send me Airwave. They sent me an RC by accident. Okay, well, at least you didn't. Uh, totally this back, and then you just send me the Airwave, and they're like, no, can't do that. So I sort of got this technically for free by mistake, but at the same time, I still spent money on a, on a dual listing, and I was like, oh, <laughs> Great, I spent money on an RC that I didn't want. So that's I'm kind of there's a little bit of like some some personal vendetta against it. Like it's a good RC, but like I just it's good for the robot mode and vehicle mode, but that's really good, but I want to smack it with a brick. <laughs> okay, I put a link here uh, into the chat for anybody who wants to see the completed tier list for themselves. Um, so now we're gonna wrap this up. Uh, first off, before we go, um, starting with Bill, please again tell everybody how they can find you and uh, what, what's coming up for you. Okay. Uh, well, uh, once again, Ninja Bill of Ninja Bill Reviews. You can find me here on YouTube at Ninja Bill Reviews. My, that's my channel on Facebook at Kenobi Biru, uh, um, and you can find me on Tformers.com as Ninja Bill as well. Ninja Bill Reviews. Um, I have got, uh, what do I got? I got pipes. I've got Studio Series Soundwave coming up, uh, skids, the Legacy Skids, Legacy Bulkhead, and Buzzworthy uh, uh, Silver Streak coming up. So. Okay, input. Tell everybody about you and what you have coming up. Uh, well, you guys can find me over on my review channel of input, stories, and reviews. And you guys, I've got a stop motion channel. Uh, called in dash put 2.0 where i just released a trailer for my upcoming transformers yellow jacket series which is a sequel slash continuation of my transformers deep cover series uh yeah that's so that's what i've got coming up right now okay lazy eyebrow tell people how they can find you and what you have coming up uh, you can find me at the Lazy Eyebrow on YouTube or Lazy Eyebrow on Twitter or Lazy Eyebrow on Facebook or Lazy Eyebrow on Instagram or the Lazy Eyebrow.com. And I have uh, a Masterpiece Hot Rod review coming up. Ooh. Okay, TFA, tell us about yourself and what you have coming up. Uh, you, my name is TFA1024, the TF Addict. Uh, prefer TFA for short because I'm pretty sure no one wants to say that full name. Uh, you can find me here on YouTube. That's youtube.com slash TFA1024. You can find me on Instagram. And that's instagram.com slash TFA1024. And you can also follow my brand new page specifically for Transformers Photography and News. That's the TF Addict on Instagram. <laughs> and uh, the only new thing I have really coming up that I'm pouring my heart and soul into that I talked about earlier is Transformers A Divided Mind or Transformers Divided Mind, which is a punch, counter punch, mental health, war, great dark story kind of thing. And hopefully it's a story that connects to a lot of you. Um, for better or 
preferably for better, let's be honest. Um, when you get you married, can I call you TFA 2048? Wait, what? <laughs> oh, because you're doubling so it. You gotcha. Get, when you, so when you get married, can I call you TFA 2048? I mean, that'd be funny. <laughs> <laughs> um, I just lost my train. Gone 64 bit. Oh, yeah, that's not motion. It's not like anything that you've seen before. A lot of people out there have made some really cool stories, and I want to give a shout out to uh, TFI Creations because he tells stories in such a way I've never seen done before. And it's there's a lot of inspiration from that as well. Stuff please stay tuned for Divided Mind. I will try to get the HQ done. I have such a lot of work to do, and it's so overwhelming. Um, reviews and such, I'm definitely going to take a break from. There's just. Not there's the energy's not there. I'm putting everything into divided mind. So if you want updates, all that kind of stuff, please follow me on Instagram. Check out the community post here on YouTube. And uh, Anthony, thanks very much for letting me hear, be here. I really do appreciate it. No problem. Uh, because I think you're going to be, I think you're on, yeah, you're going to be with us for the next one, too. Well, of course, but I still want to show my appreciation. Uh, I, I take gifts, uh, I'll give you an address, you can send stuff. Uh, <laughs> Bride. <laughs> in every video pro, you just know, give me like five objections next episode I'm just saying yeah okay. uh, <laughs> <laughs> name drop so well, every yeah. single review you know yeah just you know drop his name in every single review you know nothing much I mean I'm, <laughs> and that's something I also wanted to point out too is please be sure to subscribe and follow everyone here because support costs nothing but it's incredibly valuable to all of us and I'm pretty sure I can speak for everyone when I say we'd all appreciate it yeah yes. and it's time and I want to and I do want to say this. If you guys are going to TFCon Chicago, I will be there. And you guys can get a free T-shirt from me that says Earthrise RC is the greatest RC ever made. <laughs> oh, I don't have a passport. Why, why do I imagine seeing that on your tombstone? <laughs> you know, I would show up. Skids has, Skids has a mohawk, which invalidates any argument. <laughs> I would show up just to be like Ron Swanson with vegan bacon. <laughs> <laughs> Can I have a shirt? Thank you. Can I have enough? <laughs> uh, anyway, I'm Anthony at uh, H&E Games, uh, a, a channel you may be watching this on now, uh, though it will also be posted on to TF reviewers at some point. Uh, anyway, everything that I do is at Hasleygenet, H-A-S-L-A-G-E-N-E-T, or you can search for H&E Games, uh, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, uh, Twitch, uh your mom's shoulder because it's tattooed there. Uh, let's see what else. Oh, wow. <laughs> I also wanted to say th uh, thanks to everyone on my channel that, that who watched this through the mirror stream. Uh, thanks for joining too. Yes, thank you. Uh, I wish more people would mirror things. That would be that's awesome. Uh, if, if I knew get... how I would, I'm just I don't yeah, know. How. You have Honestly, to have what I did is up. I had the screen open on my other computer and then I screen capped that and streamed it. Uh, hey Brian. Uh, anyway, uh, so up, next Brian? coming, uh, uh, we are as I said, Siege Kingdom and others panels. I'm working on booking those now, and uh, hopefully I will see you again. Uh, thank you all for watching. Uh, don't forget to check out Transformers reviewers as well as everybody in this uh, uh, this uh, chat here and video, and. Um, do not forget to post your uh, tier list in the comments once the video is set. And uh, also remember, again, to like and subscribe, as everybody said. And for the first time in a while, we are actually stopping pretty much on time. So oh, we're wow. going to take this win and run Good with for it. us. <laughs> yes. Yeah. See everybody later. Bye, y'all. Hey, folks. Later. Hey. Later, dudes.